begin by acknowledging we reside on land Creator gave to others, and gave others to. Our church building is on the unceded land of the Duwamish people. Whenever we gather, we hold a moment of silence to remember, to repent, to grieve, to invite spirit to show us the path toward a liberating, just, loving, and ecologically sustainable future for these lands we gather on and the people who belong to them. A poem by Cheryl Laurie. I just realized that in my imagination, the wilderness is always somewhere else, a foreign landscape I actively have to enter in the act of being faithful. Truthfully, the wilderness is always where I am, right now, and faith is the courage to stay with it when I'd rather pretend I am anywhere else. was and what would be, Jeremiah inhabited exile and Christ inhabited the wilderness as a sacred space to intentionally imagine what could become in the wake of what was. In the liminal space between the loss of one world and the hope of another, Jeremiah called a people to faith and faithfulness. In the liminal space, Jeremiah recalls the sacredness of the land. In a liminal space between one way of being community and the hope of a new way of being community, Jeremiah invited the people to imagine themselves as clay, made and remade and remade and remade to embody the wild and wildly good imagination of the Eternal One. We light Christ candle, remembering that Christ is with us in the liminal and in the wilderness. We light the candle of intentionality, remembering our call to live toward liberating love. We light the candle of faithfulness, remembering our call to follow God's liberating way. We light a candle for the land remembering our call to seek liberation on this occupied place. We light a candle for willingness, remembering our sacred call to participate in God's wild imagination for goodness. In the liminal space between what was and what would be, we remember that God's dream for the world has always been one of unity and mutuality. In the liminal space between all we know and all we know that needs to change, our hope that it may be changed, all of this in this liminal space, we remember Reverend Dr. King's dream of the beloved community. Today we inhabit the unity of the whole family of creation. Today we embrace God's call 
to a global co-conspiracy for love, joy, and liberation. Today, we wait with, just with, with you, with God, with all of humanity, with the land, with the whole family of creation. Today, we wait with, and we light the candle of that sacred preposition, with. These three remaining candles wait for us and call us into Holy Week. Wait for the Lord, whose day is near. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Take heart. Amen. Wait for the Lord.